Bitcoin dump in progress, folks. And this could get worse or it could bounce. You look at this and you say, well, what do you see here? Well, let's, let's put the chart on here. Boom. Okay. Now we can make some sense out of it. I'm going to go straight down to the hourly chart. I'll come back to the daily chart. I just want to show people might be interested in what's going on right now in the immediate future. And then I'll go back out to the daily chart. If you've been watching my videos, I don't need to explain this chart a whole lot. This white band here, a little above 65,000, a little below 65,000. I was watching in my last video, I was talking about previously back here, how it fell below the white band and it was resistance and it got back up above it. And I was watching to see, you know, I've been saying my last, you know, last few weeks, I've been saying this dump, I've been talking about the dump and talking about how this works. And uh, it's still in effect. It, it, it still could have more downside to it. I added a little long. I added a little to my long position at, at under 64,000 just to, for transparency. And uh, I'm still looking to add to my long lower. And, of course, I'm in a so – I'll go show my trade later too. I, I'm long and I'm short. I'm in hedge mode. But anyways, and, and it regained and it, went, it pumped back up. And so you know, I still – see title videos on youtube for channels i like to still watch and and pay attention to and i knew when this was pumping i knew it was likely going to stop here at the top of my green channel and I, and i did see other channels that supposedly are making tons of money and they were calling for some giant pump coming and i knew this was to get rejected and get off me i got a cat touching me get off me <laughs> claw to the thigh where was i and, uh, you know, I, I mean, I don't want to talk bad about other channels, but my analysis has been really good, right? And I'm getting like 40, 50 views. So I'd like to thank you to the 40 people out there that, that that constantly watch my videos. Thank you very much. If it wasn't for you people watching that, that watch all the time, I, I don't know if I'd have a reason to continue to make these videos. And uh, I do believe that my analysis is, is very, very good. And... Anyways, so there it is. It, it's just recently dropped below. This is the hourly chart. Dropped below the white band. And it's coming down here. In my last video, I was talking about... I'll go back to the daily chart and explain how this is working. Right? It's, 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 it's based pre on previous resistance levels. Over here on the left side, where it's pumped up. And where this pumped up. See these levels over here? I'll go to the daily chart and talk about that. But first, I just want to say what's likely to happen here. What's happening right now is it's fell, fell below that white shaded area. And now you see you see this uh, heart line and the channel going down, this blue dotted line in the middle of that green descending channel. It's been support. Can you see it's been support, 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 support? You know, and this it came down from this last dump here. Boom, support, back up, support, back up. And now, boom, it's crashed down through it. And, and now this is... This hourly candle is getting rigid. This is why I fired up the uh, screen recorder here. Can you see that wick right there? Let's zoom in on that wick. Look at that wick. It, it just got rejected. Now, the previous one also got rejected off the heart line. But this new candle opened up, and it's got two minutes left before it closes. And it's a clear, precise rejection directly off that heart line. So that could be an indication. Now, that doesn't mean anything. You know, the next candle... Could just pump right back up here, and then I watch for for it to bump its head, and watch for this white area to be resistance. This area here is, is a big indicator of whether Bitcoin will pump above sixty five thousand, or if it's going to get stuck below it. You know, if there's more downside, um, it it just looks like it's still coming down to me. In my last video, I was talking about if it, if it did break below that white shared area, then I would be watching for this white horizontal line here at sixty three thousand. And, but mainly, mainly this whole area here would be support. These two horizontal white lines and, and the bottom of this green descending channel. And this is going to be between 63,000 and 62,150. And if Bitcoin were to come through there, right, it, it would have to break through the bottom of that green descending channel. And then you're talking about this uh, gray line, this descending line here. It's the top of my macro descending channel. 
and I'll go to the daily ch- chart and show that. But it would have to break through all that support, and, and it could do that, and, and it may be looking, and I'll show you why. It may be looking for this area as a final support on this dump. 60,800 area. You can see how this lined up also in the next uh, you know, in the next day or two. It's, it's lined up pretty well with the heart line, this heart line down here and this gray channel. So those are two support areas to watch. If this dump continues, that's the support area to watch. I, I don't know if 63,000, you know, it's psychologically, it's, it's a level to watch. But, but if it comes down that far, I think it's probably going to probably take a run towards the bottom of the green channel and the top of the gray channel. And that's going to be basically 62,000, a little above. But uh, that's just something to watch. Now, I'm not saying this is going to happen for sure, but I want to show you before I end this video. I don't want to make this video too long. Let's go back out to the daily chart, erase some scribbles, and I want to show you how this has been working. And for those of you that have been watching my videos, not only do I thank you for watching, but you're also welcome because my analysis has is, is, uh, been really, really, really on point. And maybe, you know, being in hedge mode, I'm long and I'm short. Maybe that takes out of a subconscious biased analysis, right? I've, I've been noticing that a lot of analysts on YouTube, Bitcoin, I think they're biased and, and it, it, and maybe not even intentionally, right? <laughs> it's an easy thing to do if you got money in, at play or if you just have an idea of what's happening. You, you tend to just kind of stick to it. But anyways, let's not go down a rabbit hole. So what I was talking about, and actually let's get rid of my chart, and I'll just show you. What I was talking about is, okay, we came up here, and this is a double top. Whoops. Um, now, this is relevant because this is where – no, oh, I can't draw a line. I can't draw a line without my chart coming back. That's that would, I need maybe send them a note and ask them if they can fix that. Of course, it's going to take a lot of people to send them a note to, for them to fix something. I can't draw a line without my chart. So, okay, we got the double top. We got this left ear here. We got the right ear here. And here, I mean, it's a Batman. Oh, here's his head. But it's a double top, almost a perfect double top. And a lot of times you, when you see... When you see these big pumps, see this giant green candle here? When you see that happen, it almost always comes right back out. You know, unless unless we're in a true parabolic upward push that continues and continues and continues. If we're not in that, you know, if we're just in a, in a range where it's going up and down, up and down, up and down, and uh, they, they generally come right back out. See this giant green candle? Boom, it comes right back out. You see where this red wick stops here? Let's zoom in. See that, see that red wick there? It stops right there. See how that's almost perfect with that whole green candle comes right back out and then it kind of comes over here and then, and then it pumps up again and then boom, look, see this, see this red wick here. See, see it's almost perfect with these two back here. This whole, this whole big green pump, it came right back out here. See that the whole thing is out here. And so then I was saying in my, in my last uh, set of videos, last couple weeks, I was saying, you know, if this big green candle comes out, then watch out for, for this little green candle to come all the way back out. See that? And and look at that. Boom. See this right here? This red candle here where my cursor's at. Now go back to the left. Follow that line to the left. And see that? That that green candle came out there. And, and these pumps, these, these rapid pumps up. This is the daily chart. These rapid pumps up almost always come right back out at some point. You know, if it's not right away, then, then watch out for it later. And see how that's working? It's almost perfect. And then I said, if this green candle comes out, well, maybe, maybe the pump started down here, right off sixty-one thousand five hundred. See this giant green candle here, you know. And you can even go over here to the left a little bit. But I like talking about the rapid, the rapid ascensions. See this big green candle here. You know, if if this one comes back out, then then watch out. You know, the pump start actually kind of started down here. So watch out for this whole thing to come back out. Boom. See see that, and and. See, see where this – this is another reason why I fired the camera uh, screen record up. See this wick right here where my cursor's at? Where this just stopped – this just stopped last hour on, on the last hourly candle. That wick – now follow the line over to the left and look – see – do you see? And, then, and I was talking about – right, and I was talking about these ranges, right? Like this, this range here, this little consolidation on the left here where my cursor's at before the big pump, next big pump. See, it, it came back down here, boom, and see see how it consolidates over here on the other side, right? On the way up, this this little consolidation that produced the pump 
is now is now a consolidation over here on the other side that produces a dump, right? And, and I was saying, watch out, see this range here where my cursor's at? Watch out, you know, this is likely where the next dump will stop. And I just want to show you, see, see where this wick, right here where my cursor's at? Go to the left and see where that stopped. Let's go, let's go over here to the left. See where that stopped? It stopped directly on top of these three wicks here in this range. See that? So if it follows past behavior, right? Now, if it follows past behavior, it's likely... This this whole green candle is likely coming out, and that is going to indicate that we're coming down to about sixty one thousand five hundred. And I'll go back to my chart, and I'll show you more specifically. But right, it just, it just bounced off. Right, this range here just became support. This range here, the resistance on this range here, over here on the right now, is is perfect support. See how that's working? And, and there's other. There's if I went down to the hourly chart, there's other. I could show you much more detail, but that's just how this has been working. And it's just something I've noticed is a behavior that Bitcoin does. And it doesn't always do this. Now, with that being said, Bitcoin just could just pump right back up, right? Maybe Bitcoin from here just maybe it bounces off that support it, it, where it just got support at 63,400. And maybe that's a support that leads to a bounce. And maybe we maybe we come right back up to 72,000 in a few days. Now, I'm, you know, that could happen. But it looks to me like the top of this range back here on the left was just tested for the first time and if it follows the behavior it's been doing since uh the first week of june june 6th june 5th june 6th if it continues with that behavior then we're likely looking at, at another test down into this range you know and maybe watch for, for like this week here you know like you know, 62,000, and uh and that actually lines up with my chart, which I'll show here in a second again. But you know, and, and you know, if that green candle comes out, if this green candle comes out, then we're in this, we're in the bottom of this range. And if this, this, if this fails as support over here on the right, if this range here on the left, if it comes back down into that range and gets stuck there, and 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 then it starts testing the bottom of that, then then we're looking at this entire thing coming back out right and this this one started the pump actually started down here at like 56,800 56,600 this here is where this whole this whole big pump started and that entire thing could be coming back out so i would watch for this this dump we're in right now i would watch for it i would watch for it to to come down below 63,400 and that, that that's a big level on my chart. Now these numbers will be a little different with different pairings. I'm on Femex, Bitcoin, USDT, and and if it comes below sixty three thousand four hundred and starts spending time down there, and uh, you know we're likely we're likely in this next range down, and and then and then if this behavior continues, we could be looking at, at fifty six thousand, you know fifty seven thousand. That on my chart, that green wick there is fifty six thousand nine hundred, and the red wick there is fifty six thousand six hundred. So fifty six thousand six hundred. That that area, right, a little under fifty seven thousand. It could it could come down there. Now, if it does come down there, there'll likely be extreme buying pressure, and it won't stay down there long. And uh, but you know, in my last video, I talked about well, you know, if that whole pump comes out, then well, wait, wait a second. See over here on the left. <laughs> This fifty-three thousand to fifty thousand range here on the way up. This big green pump here. What if this is the whole pump that's coming back out? So there, there's a chance, in my opinion, there is a chance, and I would watch for it to come down and first see the top of this range bounce off fifty-three thousand, know, right? And then, and if it gets down in below there, we, it could be it could be a return to fifty thousand, the fifty thousand four hundred, fifty thousand five hundred. The, the, this range here. And, you know, I don't want to, I, I think this is highly unlikely that this will happen. But if that happened, then you would want to start watching out for this next range here to the left, which is the high 40,000s. There's a lot of support at 42,000, and the bottom of that range is 39,000. Now, I think that's highly unlikely, but you need to have that in your mind because that's, that's pos that is possible. Now, I think it's highly, highly, highly unlikely. But you know, baby steps, and and currently the behavior is is remaining, 
you know, clearly just another drop down, another level down, about a thousand, fifteen hundred dollar down, boom, rapid. And uh, so, you know, I'd, I'd watch for a return to sixty thousand eight hundred. Let's go back to my chart, and I'll give you some more specific numbers to watch. There's my chart, boom. Now we can now we can make a little more sense of this. So this golden line here. And the golden line on top, they're, they're actually white lines of support. All these white horizontal lines and the two golden white horizontal, uh, the two golden horizontal lines are all support and resistance, you know, going up or down. And uh, I have that shaded area white there because it's more of a, a, an area to watch. As opposed, it's actually two white lines, and I just shaded the area between it because it's kind of interesting place, which is where Bitcoin's been for the last four days or so. And uh, so. These two golden, these two gold horizontal lines I have there because if you take out this, if you take out that dump to fifty six thousand, then essentially Bitcoin has been going sideways, right? This dump to fifty six thousand makes it kind of a, a downtrend in my opinion, still, because we could be looking at a return to there. But you know, even if it did come down to fifty six and, and bounce, then you could still say we're kind of going sideways. So it is kind of a sideways consolidation. Uh, I think it's got a bearish bias to it <laughs> a bearish tendency but but anyways the two gold lines if you take out that fifty six thousand low the two gold lines are essentially a straight straight to the right sideways consolidation so in my opinion sixty eight thousand or uh, sixty thousand eight hundred is is not only the bottom of the range it's it's it's, it's what I was kept my like a magnet with when I didn't have my chart just a couple minutes ago. I kept saying, you know, sixty thousand five hundred, blah, blah blah blah. That that area, this area here is likely to be extremely strong support. Uh, so, like this green channel coming down here could be extended. And then let's let's go ahead and do that. Actually, let's go ahead. I think it's time to uh, extend this guy down here like so. Let's just put him way down here like this because he could stay in. He, this guy could stay in effect. This is why I call it my kaleidoscope chart because these these patterns they all stay in effect and they overlap each other and it gets really really interesting. So uh, the two gray channels you see on top and bottom of this big green descending channel I call that my bear trap extension, my bull trap extension, and uh, I could just turn the whole thing green I suppose, but I just like to do it like this and so. Let's zoom in. This is going to be an extremely strong support area, in my opinion. Right. Uh, let's actually zoom back out a little. This area here, where it runs into the top of that gray channel, descending gray channel, runs into the bottom of the green, little green descending channel. And then you got these two horizontal white lines and then the golden horizontal line at 60,800. This, this whole area here is going to be. It's going to be, you know, like uh, an ironclad support area. So I, I don't actually expect it to probably go through there. But if it did, if it did, in just my gut opinion, if it did come down through there, I, I would I would like this bottom line of 56,541 on my chart for a double bottom. I think this is probably the worst case scenario. Now it could go lower, like I showed earlier. But see this overhand on the left. That if it comes down here for the double bottom, then watch out for a nice big kapow, right? And watch out for the big, the big boy bounce from there. That fifty six thousand five forty one could be a beautiful place to long. And uh, I'll be adding to my long in small increments on the way down from now on. And I'll probably be starting to get out of my short. I got a decision to make with my short because it's almost in profit and. If it's going to give me a golden opportunity to get out of that short, you know, because eventually Bitcoin will pump and it's going to start pumping hard. And uh, it's actually got a $53,000 target to the upside. I'll end the video with a cup and handle pattern on the macro chart starting in 2021. So I, I don't want to be short for my, very much longer. And so I got a decision personally to make to get out of that short or not. And, uh, uh, so I'm, I'm gonna, today I'm going to be watching this real close, and uh, that's about it. I don't, I don't think this is going to be a catastrophic dump like some videos on YouTube may be telling you. But it, you know, it could, you know. And, and if it did, the first step down would be fifty three to fifty. And you, the thing is, is if if it did, if there was a giant, you know, whatever whatever happens here, if there was, if it's quick or or slow or rapid, whatever, if it did come back down here. 
right? It's still in this macro channel. And this is actually still perfectly normal behavior, right? You know, this is this is 49,000 right here, this heart line in late July. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I'm saying if it did, this 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 is where you would be buying, right? Because people will be panicking and they'll they'll be doom and gloom and blah blah blah. And this this is where just a wonderful opportunity to buy, you know, barring a a, a black swan event, of course. So you know, always do your own thing. And I'm long and short, and this is financial advice. I'm not gonna. I'm not, I'm tired of people saying it's not financial advice. Yes, this is financial advice. I'm not a professional financial advisor. I'm short and I'm long. I'm risking my money and on exactly what I'm talking about. So therefore I can say it and I'm tired of people giving, making videos, you know, this and that, and that, just, you know, just psychologically screwing with people's head. And then during the video, sometimes they go, this is not financial advice though. <laughs> All right, that's, that's kind of an integrity issue in itself. Is it not? Yeah. Financial advice and watch out for the, dump. I, I pretty much said it. And, and if it did pump back up, you know, this golden line here, it, it's 72,029 is a real strong resistance. And the two white lines above it are basically the, the white line on top is all time high is 73,851 on my chart. And, and, uh, I think, you know, if it said a new high, then you'd be talking probably about, you know, we're probably on our way to 84,000, but, but if it did pump back up out of here and there's a lot of resistance, this, this whole area here now is going to be strong resistance. The same way this whole area here is going to be strong support. So 60,800 to 67,000. I was suspected to probably stay in between there for quite a while. You know, I could be totally wrong about it, but you know, if it did come back up here and pump, then, then you're looking at maybe a triple top, right? One, two, three, right? Watch out for the triple top. And if it came up to 72, I would be watching for the big dump back down. You know, it's like six, like at least 65, right? That's just how this has been working. And I've been saying enough. And uh, so actually, let's go show you my trade because I got to go back and, and change. I got to go to Bitcoin USD on Femex to uh, show you the giant cup and handle on the macro. It's a dandy. I tell you what, it's a gem. Okay, so there's my trade. You can see my short is... is uh, you know, if you've seen my trade a week or two ago, you'd be like, this guy's, you know, what is he doing? Stupid, right? But, but uh, you know, I've taken profit many times on the short and the long, and I just open them up and, and start nibbling. And I could be a lot cleaner. as You know, my, my entry prices are kind of have been sloppy, but it, it doesn't really matter a whole lot because one, you know, the long protects the short, the short protects the long, and it's kind of like playing whack-a-mole, right? I just... I just staying way away from getting liquidated and one goes in profit and one goes underwater and then the other one goes in profit and the other one goes right. It's just, <laughs> I don't want to talk a whole about a lot about it in this video, but you can see my short there. It's already over $200 in profit just because they pay generally pay the shorts to keep the shorts open on the site. Now up here, the funding rate is actually negative and it's, 200 it's basically twice as high as usual but and it's also negative so it's about three times as high and uh, different so right now my short is paying my long so right now in five hours 43 minutes my long will get paid two one hundredths of a percent of eight thousand seven hundred if that's where i have my long I'm, i've been i'm gonna keep adding to that long here in little tiny increments just to see what happens and uh I may start getting out of my short in little tiny increments, right? Because, you know, if I close down my whole short right now for $150 loss, well, I actually made $60 because they already paid me two ten. dollars See how that works? So that's pretty cool. I have an opportunity to get out of that short right now if I want, but I'm just going to sit here and watch and watch and see what happens. And Bitcoin is down to 63900 as I speak. So it's, it's, it is uh, definitely been, you know, I showed you that I showed you that rejection off the top of that green. Uh, the heart line and that green little channel. And that's kind of one reason, one of the two main reasons why I fired up the screen recorder. Cause it, I, I just thought that was probably going to be a rejection when it got up there. And, and it de indeed is for now that it could change. It's, it's what I'm watching, right? That's what I'm watching. What I showed you. And uh, I don't want to repeat myself and go back and make this longer. So let's go over here to Bitcoin USD and I'm going to go to the weekly chart. Here on Femex, Bitcoin, USD. I'm trading USDT. I do think USDT, you know, they Femex used to send me 
send me messages because they they wanted people in USDT and I was leery of it. And they were saying, well, it's more accurate and it's more liquid and, and this and that and and uh, on their site anyways. And uh, I wasn't sure. And, and I switched over to USDT. And, and it is, I do, you know, I, the way I'm doing this, the way I'm charting this, it, it, it is a, uh, is very accurate in my opinion. It, the USD is a, is a little more, little more not, you know, I, I can't, you know, I just, USDT is just, just more accurate. And uh, so let's actually shorten this guy down a little. Let's put him like right here. Oh yeah, it's all right. I guess I'll just leave it where it was. Okay, cup and handle. This started back on uh, November 8th of 2021. This is the weekly chart of Bitcoin. It's a giant cup and handle for those of you that didn't watch my video where I talked about this. It's this massive cup, just this massive cup. And then this is this is considered a, a bullish continuation pattern. And I want to scrunch this down because I got to fit the target on here up to the upside. And it's got you measure from the bottom of the bowl down here. It's it's about fifty three thousand. You, know, you measure from the bottom of the bowl up here to the top. See this where it started on the left, and on the right here, it's a, it is a touch higher. There was a lot of oomph to that all time high, but but it's 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 pretty good, right? It's it's at about you know seventy thousand or so. It's from seventeen, you know, it's about fifty three, fifty four thousand dollar target, and a, you know a fifty three thousand, fifty four thousand dollar target is going to put Bitcoin right there. 126,000. My last video said 125, but in that ballpark, right? I can't even scrunch, let's scrunch it down. Oh, there it is. I still have it marked for my last video. <laughs> right now, this is the weekly chart. So, you know, this could stay, you know, a couple months it could stay. And like I was saying in my earlier analysis, see this, it could come back down here. You know, that's 56,000 right here, this, this white line in the middle horizontal white line, you know, 56,000. It could come back up to 70,000, you know, it could come to 55. It could stay in here for a while. That's the weekly chart. So each candle is a week. So it could stay in there for months, but it, it does, you know, my, my analysis and it won't go straight up. You know, I should, I should draw corrections on the way up. Right. Something boom. Right. And well, I, I actually marked 104. That's probably, Oh, that's what I did for super speculation. Uh, the target here is 125,000. And say it comes up here and does this, you know, uh, there's there's 125,000 right there, right? And we're probably talking the end of 2024, uh, into 2025. And don't 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 look at my time wise. I'm just scribbling on a blank chart here. This is you know I, I like that target being hit. It fits right into my my overall analysis. I've been talking about it the whole time. And this is this will basically represent the end of the having pump. Right. This is basically going to be the end of the having pump. But what will likely will happen is it'll correct and come back down and, you know, probably come up a little higher and then boom. And I'm still calling 139,000 where I have this line marked up here. Or, you know, just about 140,000 is the all time high that will be set. And then, what are, you know, and then boom. You know, and, and I do like probably 60,000, 70,000 to be, you know, maybe the bottom of the next bear market. Right. So that's super speculation. But if you just, if I zoom out on what I just, whoops, I don't want to draw that line. I need to end this video. It's getting too long. But everything I'm saying to you is good to just keep in your mind, whether it, whether it all happens or not. But uh, let's get rid of that scribble, make it a little more clear. Oops, I don't want to get rid of that. But anyways, that that right there, that that could be what you're looking at for the the next the the post having cycle, right? And don't pay attention down here on the bottom the, to the years and the dates. I'm just talking about the general. The general shape of what's what we could be looking at for the next year and a half. That could be it right there. Pretty good. The real fun part will be when this breaks, when this bullish pattern breaks and it goes and it goes from 70,000 to 125. That's the fun part because it could be fairly rapid, right? And then it basically it's just kind of goes sideways from there. And you know, there, there's a chance it goes up to 200,000, but I think that's, I think that's highly unlikely this cycle and uh, I don't mean to bum anyone out, but I got to go. And uh, there it is. I like showing my trade. You know, I, a while back I showed this trade and that short was like $2,500 underwater. Right. But you know, 
I was taking, I took good profit on the long while that was happening. And, you know, I showed how that I protect and that's it. I got to go. Hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and uh, my analysis short term and probably my analysis long term as well is going to be spot on as you can see. And, uh, I need to start be. I need to start day trading. It would appear so. Maybe I get out of this short and I take my my ten thousand dollars and I start, you know, doing ten x hundred thousand dollar day trades and see how that goes. I'm kicking that idea around, and if I do that, I will show it. And uh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm creeping around the corner, and, and when I get around the corner, it's, you know, I think it's going to be a fairly rapid ascent for me to get up over the hill, <laughs> around the corner, and over the hill. All right, later. Subscribe, like. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. The 40, 50 people out there that watch all, all my videos. I can tell there's a core of about 40 or 50 that watch everyone. Thank you.